okay this is our function add function we are done with this function now next function is our get rows function okay now in this function we are going to fetch all the data we have already seen in the demo project whenever we are fetching the data we need only four data should be displayed okay so for that we need one start limit and also we need one end limit okay now here i'm just going to create the function for this one public function and for this function name i'm just going to write here get rows okay because i just want to fetch all the rows so i'm just writing here get rows okay you can give any function name i need start and end limit so for that here i am passing two parameters i am just writing here start is equal to 0 and my limit value let me just write here 4 okay you can give any limit value i am giving here 4 you can give 10 you can give 20 based on your project requirement you can give any value here now inside this i will be writing sql query now let me just write here sql and inside this i will be writing this one select okay i want to fetch all the data so i am writing here star from from the same table name okay i'm just going to copy from here and here i'm just going to paste that one okay select star from table name and i just have to order uh, i'll be writing this one order by i just want to display in descending order so i'll be writing that one okay if you don't give this one descending order then also it's fine the data will be displayed in ascending order i'm just giving this one okay and here i'm just telling the limit my limit is nothing but whatever start and end value I am having. Okay, whatever parameters I have passed here, I am just passing here. I will close and inside this. Okay, now I am just passing the start limit that is nothing but 0 to 4. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, it will be taken like that. Only 4 data will be displayed. Now below this, once we are done with this, we have to prepare for the statement. So here, whatever we have written here, I'm just going to copy and here I'm going to paste that one. Okay, once we are done with writing the query, we have to prepare for that one. Now here, we are not going to check any condition. Directly, we just have to execute this one. I'm just going to copy, paste and from here, I'm just going to remove this one. Okay, now this is all about getting rows. Now from here, uh, let me just close this one because all the colors has been changed now. Now, once we are done with this, once we have seen how we are selecting all the data, now I have to fetch all the data from the database. Okay, so for that here we are just checking the condition. I am just writing this one. If my statement, okay, that is nothing but if my row count, okay, we are having this method. If my row count, if it is greater than zero, only then I have to fetch all the data. Okay, so to fetch all the data, I am just going to create one variable results and inside this, Okay, whenever my row count is greater than zero if i am having any record inside the database only then i have to come inside this if execute this one I, and i should fetch all the data now here i'm just writing this one statement and we are having this fetch method let me just write that one fetch all okay, we are using get rows so i have to fetch all the data and here i am writing f-e-t-c-h fetch all and inside this i'll be writing this one pdo colon colon and i'm writing this one fetch asok okay fetch asok i'll be telling you why we are writing this one okay now by default when we are fetching all the data it will be providing in the index and the associative value okay whatever index number like 0 1 2 3 and from that 0 whatever data i'm having that will be displayed to me like it, it will be like this for zeroth index i'll be having some data here some data then for one index i'll be having some data here like this it is going to provide but i need only this one okay only this values i need so i'm just writing here fetch asok only associative values i'm just going to fetch okay so we just have to write this one fetch asok if my row count is greater than zero only then i have to fetch all the data else here i'm just going to write here else block if i'm not having any data i'm just going to copy this and for this, I'm just going to assign empty array, okay, because whatever values we are getting, we will be getting in the form of array. If I don't have any data inside my database and if I'm trying to fetch, it is going to return me empty array. And whatever data I'm getting here, I just have to return that one. Okay, if successfully I'll be getting this result, then I just have to return that one so that I can fetch all the data here. I'll save this. Okay, now we have created function for adding users. We have created function for getting rows. Now we will see how to get single rows because whenever we want to update the user, we are not going to update all the data. We are just going to update that particular user. And also if we want to delete, we are going to delete that particular user. If we want to view the profile, we are going to view that particular user. So for that, we should need the function to fetch the single row from the database. Okay, now we are going to see how to do that one. 
okay now inside this function we will be passing two parameters from which field what value should be taken okay now here let me just write here public and here i'll be writing function and inside this i'll be writing here get row okay only one row i just have to fetch and inside this i'll be passing two parameters field okay from which field like id name from which field and what value i have to fetch okay two parameters i'm just passing and inside this let me just copy the same thing from here i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste and instead of this select star from i'm just going to remove this one instead of this i'll be writing here where where my this field this particular field whatever i have passed this field this field will be equal to that value okay whatever value i am getting that will be equal to that one i'm just going to copy this one and here i'm just going to paste that one i'll just close this okay like id name whatever field i am having it should be equal to this particular field whatever i am accessing okay now once we are done with this let me just check for this one select star from table name where file is equal to field now once we are done with this we just have to execute this let me just copy the same thing and here i'm just going to paste that one okay. now we have to prepare once we are done with writing query we have to prepare then we have to execute then if my row count is greater than zero if i am fetching only single record which means that my record is present inside the database and from here i don't have to fetch all the things i just have to fetch single record so here i'll be writing fetch and for this also we are just writing here fetch as oak if i'm not having any data i'm just returning empty result let me just change the variable here let me just write here result and here also i'm just writing returning the result okay from rows we are just fetching all the data and we are just converting and we are just passing here fetch as oak and from here we are just fetching single record so we just have to write here fetch next we are just going to write the function to count the number of rows present inside the database now here i'm just writing this public function and here inside this i'll be writing here get count now inside this i'm just going to copy this entire thing from here okay from get row function and here i'm just going to paste that one and from here let me just change this one i'll just remove this and here instead of this i'll be writing this one select count star which means that i just want to count how many number of rows are present inside my database okay i'll just write this one and here let me just write here p count okay this is nothing but alias instead of printing like this i'm just writing this name okay from table name i just want to print that one okay let me just write this one from and from here i'm just going to copy this i'll just paste that one okay select count star which means that i'm counting all the rows present inside the database after writing this query i'm just preparing for that and here i'm just executing that one okay now if i get the count i just don't want this one i don't want to check this one and also i don't need this one Okay, instead of that i'm just going to fetch all the records i'm just converting that one okay so that i'll be getting the count and inside this i'm just going to pass this one okay because i'll be getting this array so i want this count i'm just going to paste that one here and also i'm just going to close this one okay don't forget to close or else you will be getting this error okay i'm just writing the query to count the number of rows present inside the database once i write this query i'm just preparing my statement once i prepare i'm just going to execute that one once i execute i have to fetch all the records i'm fetching all the records but i'm just returning the count how many data is present so we have to pass like this if we just pass this one it is going to return all the data but if we just pass like this okay whatever name you have given here if you just pass here okay that is going to return you the count number of records present inside the database and now totally we have created four functions first for adding users then we have just created the function for getting rows then get row single row and we have created get count 